Hey, this is Walt from thestuggerreview.com here uh, to do a Cigar Fest 2009 wrap up. Uh, the previous video I did was uh, covered Friday, and uh, the things just uh, the things that we did and the events that we went to the day before the big event. And uh, this video is going to focus on uh, the big day, Friday's uh, or Saturday's Cigar Fest. So Saturday rolls around. Uh, Jerry and I hop in the car and head out to uh, Cigar Fest. which is in uh, Split Rock Resort, which is a few minutes down the road from, our, from where we're staying. Uh, the cigar spy, uh, Camacho, he had uh, <clears throat> uh, one, one o'clock entry ticket, so he was hanging back, uh, killing time at, back at the resort until, uh, until it was time for him to go and get in line. So uh, we arrive at, uh, at um, Split Rock. I get an awesome parking spot right outside the front door, outside the, the front door of the resort. We go in, uh, walk around to where the the ticket area was the year before, and uh, we, we pick up our, our press passes, which was uh, which was pretty cool. Uh, we got uh, admittance only tickets, but uh, press credentials nonetheless, and uh, <clears throat> which gave us uh, access at 11 a.m. to see everything. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Last year when I was there. There was uh, the cigar nut package, which is more or less what we got uh, without the, the, the freebies. It included a breakfast and seminars with the manufacturers. This year I assumed it was the same way. And I was really looking forward to just sitting down in the ballroom and listening to what some of the manufacturers had to say. But I guess at some point uh, the night before they did seminars somewhere else in the resort. And uh, this year they incorporated breakfast inside the, the resort area or inside the uh, the convention center, so you could you could uh, walk around, meet some of the manufacturers, go grab breakfast, and sit in one of the tables they had set up. And uh, breakfast was pretty good. Uh, right away, you know, loud music playing, nice atmosphere. Place was was clean, looked good. All the manufacturers were bright eyed and ready to go. Well, most of the manufacturers were bright eyed and ready to go. Some of the others were a little hungover from the Rocket Patel party the night before. But uh. It, you know, everything started off with a bang. There was uh, live music in uh, the back room, which is where uh, Sam Lucia, Jesus Fuego, the, um, there were a couple of other manufacturers back there. I can't remember off the top of my head who was there. Uh, the only ones that we really talked to was Jesus Fuego and Sam Lucia. Uh, some of the, one of the other manufacturers was someone that really haven't heard of. There, there, actually, there were probably two or three of them back in the corner that I really hadn't heard of. And uh, there was, a, I think it was Hoyda Tradition, set up a big uh, Wii Sports thing. And uh, once you gave them your ticket to get your free cigar, you had the opportunity to play Wii Golf. And uh, if you scored 400 points, you got an extra cigar. So that, that booth was pretty busy. Pretty busy. They had uh, projector screens set up, people were playing. And uh, they, you know, they had live music playing. In the other room, they were piping in music through uh, various stereo speakers. The crowd was coming in through that one room. So right away Jerry and I tried to get as much you know as much done early. Now I try to take a lot of pictures, get a little bit of video of the booths of the crowd coming in and uh, and we made our rounds to talk to some of the manufacturers to see if we could set up a time to do a little bit of video recording. But, you know, that, that ended up being very difficult to do. Uh, not because they weren't willing. Many of them were, were all for it. And, you know, that was great. Loved it. But uh, even with the shotgun mics on the HD cameras and a lavalier mic, the music was just too overpowering. We're, we have... Uh, Jerry and I both have the same camera. And there's an audio meter on the camera that shows, you know, peak voice levels and background noise. So if the background noise is too loud, it's, it goes beyond where your voice is, is hitting. So visually, we can see that the music is too loud. You're never going to hear what, this guy, what the guy is saying. So we had to try to, to get as much done in the lulls in the music as possible. And uh, after sort of making the rounds, talking to everyone we knew, right before the next wave of people came in, I think they sent in about 800 people per wave. So 11 o'clock people had a couple of hours to do their thing, and then... After that, one o'clock, eight hundred one o'clock people came in through the doors, and right before they came in, 
they were breaking down the food, the band took a break, and it was getting quiet. So uh, Jerry and I raced over to talk to Jesus Fuego about uh, the two new cigars he's got hitting the market. And uh, you can, you'll see that five minute video, it's already up on the site. Jesus was very kind with information, very generous with information. And uh, was, was uh, kind enough to give Jerry and I both samples of the new cigars coming out. You'll, you should see some pictures of the cigars in that video as well. Uh, from there, we, we hopped over to talk to Sam Lucia. Uh, at the time we got over there, Sam was doing a demo on rolling uh, Nub Maduro. So Jerry recorded some Nub Maduro rolling footage. And then, you know, by the time that was over, the band was back on stage and the wave of people were coming in. So we sort of had to get out of the booth and start making our rounds again, getting more pictures and uh, talking to other manufacturers. But the more people that came into the convention center, the more difficult it was. Uh, filming was very difficult because of, you know, the background noise, the music going on. So we didn't get nearly as much video footage as we would have liked. And, uh, you know, by the time 7 o'clock rolled around in the evening, uh, you know, I just figured, you know, I can, I can talk to some of these guys as things are winding down. Uh, you know, the people will start thinning out. They were playing the Kentucky Derby on the big screen, piping in the audio, so it was kind of difficult then. By 6.30, a lot of these manufacturers were packed up and walking out. Uh, so that was kind of a downer. But uh, we did get to speak with a lot of manufacturers, and... Uh, Many of them knew who we were, didn't have to introduce ourselves. They knew uh, Jerry and I, that was fantastic. And all these manufacturers were kind enough to give us samples of what they brought for themselves. So, as well as uh, samples of, of what they were handing out to everyone else. So even though that we only had a, an admittance only ticket, we were provided plenty of cigars. And uh, so, you know, all in all, the, the event was a good time. Uh, as Jerry and I were standing in line about an hour before we could get into the building, <clears throat> we see this guy and this girl coming toward us. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't know whether boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, just friends, whatever. But a uh, guy comes up, very energetic, very polite, shakes our hands, says hi. You know, the girl's talking to us as well. You know, ah, you know we've been looking for you last night at the Rocky Patel thing. Wanted to say hi. And, and uh, you know, there were people that we met were exactly like that. Very energetic, very happy to talk to us. You know, just laying it on thick as far as, you know, thank you for, you know, doing what you do. You know, really hoping to, to sit down and have a cigar with you later. You know, thanks for the site. And, and that was awesome. Uh, you know, meeting people that were just that thrilled to see us and, and to, to talk to us for a few minutes was it was very humbling, you know, we expected to, to run into a few people that we knew, but by the, the, by the end of the event we had run out, or we had, uh, we had lost count of all the people that recognized us and got to talk to us. So, really appreciate everyone that introduced themselves, I'm sorry if we didn't get your names or we don't mention your names, there were a lot of you, and uh, a lot of you actually didn't even mention your names. So. Uh, for that, you know, if we don't mention you by name, we apologize. But uh, you know, there were there were a lot of people that we met. Uh, I actually, we saw those that couple a couple of other times, sort of in passing. We were a little bit far apart. But I was telling Jeremy, you know, we should grab these two specifically just because of how energetic and happy they were, and get them on camera. You know, get them to say, hey, you know, you're watching Stogie Review. Maybe go into how they found Stogie Review, things like that. But uh, it, it just didn't work out. Toward the end of the event, I didn't see them again, and uh, and Jerry had to leave earlier than usual due to uh, some some family issues. Which uh, hopefully everything has resolved itself and and everything is good and you know no one's badly hurt. But but uh, you know the, the people were great. I met uh, Carlos. Uh, I've known Carlos for a little while now. We talk on the forums, talk on Twitter. You know he sends me little tidbits of information here and there of things that may be interesting and just a, a great guy all in all. We got to talk to him for a few minutes uh, on Friday. Uh, we met uh, BTM Isles from Twitter as well. Uh, there, there were just a bunch of people that were just a pleasure to meet and talk to which was fantastic. So by the time the, uh, the event closed down and, and it was time to go back to the hotel. I was just beat. 
I ended up not going back out. I would have really liked to to uh, to go back out and and try to meet up with some people and hang out, but from I, I think the ballroom closed early, or not the ballroom, but the lounge. The lounge was in the ballroom, but I, I was pretty sure that, that closed down and the after party was at at tailgaters, Tail, not tailgaters, uh, bench warmers, and. Uh, you know, I, I really didn't want to go back down there and relive the whole Rocky Patel experience. Just one big crowd moving in a circle around the bar, uh, tight quarters. You know, the music wasn't bad. It was just the bass was too loud and it was difficult to understand unless you were really close. But So I figured I'd, I'd scratch that and just try to get some work done in the hotel room, try to unwind and relax a little bit. I, I couldn't just go right to the, the, the lounge or, or bench warmers. I, I had to get the camera off of my neck. This... I actually have it packed up, but my, my DSLR, while it only weighs a pound or two, you know, when it's hanging from a strap around your neck for eight hours, you, you really need to get it off and just sit down and relax for a few minutes. And uh, that's what I ended up doing at the hotel room. And then uh, called it a night, and here we are. So, you know, I actually, I, I, I definitely should have tried to get around and talk to some more people, but, you know, it just, uh, I needed a break. <laughs> But anyway, that was uh, Cigar Fest. Uh, the staff was awesome. Um, everyone that I talked to from Cigars International was just a, a pleasure to deal with. Even when uh, when it came down to a little bit of confusion getting our press passes, to uh, just bumping in the, the staff during the event. You know, they were very nice and uh, happy to help us in any way they could. Uh, they really know what they're doing as far as selling raffle tickets. The the women walking around selling raffle tics, tickets were gorgeous, and uh, they really knew what they were doing there. Um, I, I'm going to try to put together a sort of Babes of Cigar Fest uh, photo stream or something. Uh, I, I tried to get as many beautiful women pictures as I could without looking creepy and... Uh, and all that good stuff. There were uh, the Man of War girls were gorgeous. There were three of them, and uh, they were at the Man of War booth during Cigar Fest, as well as at the Man of War event the day before. And uh, I was trying to get some pictures of those. I got some, uh, one picture from behind. Actually, I was standing looking at the girl's head, but uh, AJ Fernandez rolls a, a man of war on her stomach, which was kind of cool. I really would have liked to have been around the side to get everything in, but uh, you know, you got the boobs sticking in the air, so that's that's a plus. But uh, you know, I was trying to get pictures of them, and I probably appeared very creepy as I was around the, the these girls flashing the camera for I don't know. I probably took 30 picture of these pictures of these girls trying to get a decent shot. Uh, I was trying to get them alone and. They were real cool with that. Uh, you know, I asked them, you know, can I just get a picture of you? I don't want, you know, all these other guys. I don't want a picture of them with you. I just want a picture of you for the website. And, you know, they were cool with that. Yeah, sure, no problem. But uh, every time I step back and put the camera in my eyes, some, some guy would jump in and, and get his picture taken. So uh, I just did my best to get in tight on the girls so I can crop them, crop out the guys later. And, uh, Eventually, toward the end of the event, I finally got them alone and was able to get a picture of just them and not, you know, some random guy in the picture, which was pretty cool. So, I got that. I probably look kind of creepy doing it, but I got that taken care of. Uh, I took a, pictures of uh, a few of the, the, the CI Nation girls, so I'll see what I can do about putting that together for all the, all the guys that look at the website. Uh, there were just a lot of very nice sites there. Uh, I got plenty of cigars. I, I lost count of how many I had. Actually, my one, uh, my one Herf box or my my small five count Herfador is where I was sticking all the bands of the cigars I smoked, and there was just a mountain of bands in there. So I, I probably went through at least fifteen over the course of two days. Uh, yesterday, I didn't have a single cigar. Just wasn't interested in in smoking today. Is my very first cigar of the day is coming at almost eleven o'clock in the morning, which is a Aurora 1495. Uh, I talked to Jesus Blanco, or, yeah, Jesus, Jose Blanco from La Aurora, and uh, we're going to do something with uh, La Aurora in the future. Work out some sort of contest of some sorts where we can uh, provide a, a box of signed cigars. We're not sure what yet. We're not sure what the uh, the details are going to be. 
Uh, it's not going to be something like comment here and that's what you get. It's more like more more than likely going to be an active contest where your where your entry is going to include you getting a cigar of some sort and identifying it or we're just going to do something to get people involved and, and something fun. But uh, we need to work out the the uh, the kinks on that and we really haven't finalized what we were going to do. We just know that we are going to do it at some point. Hopefully sooner than later. I know that uh, at the latest we'll probably finalize it in August at uh, IPCPR. And, you know, Jose and I have plans to talk before then to try to get the ball rolling and, and things going. But, uh, you know, it was a fantastic trip. The Cigars International staff was awesome. The event was great. Uh, good food. Uh, good music. Just good, great atmosphere. Uh, the venue is good. Uh, just all in all, I was very happy with it. Now, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to going again next year. Hopefully, uh, Cigars International will be, will be kind enough to provide us with press passes again for next year. But uh, the next thing on the agenda, uh, IPCPR is out in August, but we're also going to be uh, attending uh, the famous barbecue as uh, members of the press to cover that event. Hopefully, we can get some more video taken, you know, during that. But, uh, you know, I, I actually walked around with my little flip cam and took some video of sort of a, a Cigar Fest teaser. So uh, I'll, I'll try to get that together and maybe I'll, and maybe I'll get that together before this video gets published. Uh, if not, keep an eye out for that video. It's, it's going to be very simple. You probably won't be able to hear anything because of it being a flip and some of the footage being shot at night or in a hall of some sort. So... Uh, Anyway, you know, Cigar Fest was a blast. I really hope to go again next year. I would strongly encourage anyone in the area to check it out next year. Uh, Cigar Fest 2010 will most likely be at the same place and uh, will probably be even more fun than it was this year. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching the video. Appreciate any comments you may have. And uh, until next time, happy smoking.